Hey y'all, I wanted to do a quick video on strawberries. I know I've done this before in the past. Um, it is strawberry season though. Last year I set up these totes. Um, these are all the white strawberries, the white pine berries. Um, if you're looking for a really prolific strawberry that does really well and you don't need to do much to it, um, this is a great plant for you. I started off with nine plants that I put in one of these towers about three years ago. The plants took over the towers and took over my whole entire garden. <laughs> I ended up last year uh, donating probably over 300 plants to my mom, to my neighbors, and we even put a box on the side of the sidewalk that said free strawberry plants for people to take. We had so many, I, over probably over 300 strawberry plants. Uh, that's how prolific these plants are and how well they grow. They grow so well that when I did these totes, I originally did one, two, three, four, five, six, over there, six, seven, eight. And over the course of this season, they have taken over, as you can see, the, the dead bell pepper plants in that one and that one. So they've taken over those two totes. You can see on the ground in between the totes, they're growing on the ground again. They're growing on the ground through there. They go all the way over to that, to the tote lid there. And they even go further. They started, like I said, all the way over here <laughs> in this tower. They have also taken over, this used to be my okra, and they took over the okra totes here. They're taking over the garden floor over here again. And I can walk you over. Bear with me, I'm still working on my garden. We're late because we started with the orchard this year. But um, I did clear this all out, so they haven't gotten over here yet. But they're growing under this tote in the cement. They have taken over here, all through in there. Uh, where else? We're back around here. Oh, this was an okra pot, which they're now in there. <laughs> they're all through here. We've got them all through here. This was all cleared out last spring, and they've taken over the entire garden. So they've made it all the way to the gate. Like I said, they're all through here now. This is the opposite side of the garden. All through my walkway here. All through here. I think the farthest they've gone that I found them this way now is, they're still through here. I think here is the farthest I've found them. So we've still got about that much further to go. But if you're looking for a really prolific strawberry that will multiply very well and doesn't require really a lot of work because I don't do anything. That's why I call myself the minimalist gardener. I don't do much. <laughs> I just, I plant, I water, I sometimes throw fertilizer. My mom does a whole lot more than me. I don't do it. I don't have the time. I don't have the energy because I have I have a bad back, so I do what I can. But uh, yeah, the white pine berries, like I said, I started with nine plants and they have literally taken over my garden. They're everywhere. And like I said, we gave away over 300 plants last year. Three of my neighbors got some, my mom got some, and whoever took out of the box we left on the sidewalk. So, and they're a really good flavored uh, strawberry. They have almost like a pineapple-y taste to them. They're white <clears throat> to start. And when they start to ripen, they turn like a light pink. There's none on the, the plants right now. They're just flowering. But um, they start out, that's a red strawberry. Those are red. But um, they start out white, like a greenish white. And you'll see when they ripen. I'll show you when, when they start to uh, fruit. They, they'll turn white, the seeds will turn red when they're ready. And if they're sitting in the sun, they'll turn pink. And then they'll, they're really sweet. They almost have like a, a strawberry-ish uh, 
pineapple flavor. They're really good. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video about the pine berries. If you're looking for a really hearty strawberry that does really well, they do great here in California. We're in zone 10. So for me, they do excellent. Um, I would recommend you guys trying them. They, they do great. Like I said, the majority of these strawberries, the ones in the totes and everything are all the pine berries. I do have a couple, like I said, red strawberries mixed in on some of these these here the towers but they have not taken over my garden they don't they stay in the towers the ones that are all over my garden are the pine berries so yeah i would recommend trying them out if you're looking for something that's super prolific and easy to grow and are prepared for them to take over your soil if you have a garden like mine where it's all soil anyway hope you're all having a great day hope you have a great weekend bye